In the heart of Hollywood, where stars are born and legends are made, few have shown as brightly and consistently as Mark Harmon. Best known for his iconic role as Special Agent Gibbs on the long-running hit series, NCIS, Harmon's journey to stardom is a captivating tale of talent, hard work, and unyielding determination. From his early days as a college football star to becoming one of the highest paid actors on television, Mark Harmon has lived a life most of us can only dream about. Join us as we take a closer look at the luxurious lifestyle of this television titan, exploring his impressive career milestones, stunning homes, enviable car collection, and the staggering net worth that underscores his success. Get ready for an exclusive peek behind the scenes into the extraordinary life of Mark Harmon. Mark Harmon, a prominent American actor, has made a name for himself in the entertainment industry, amassing a considerable net worth of $120 million. While his career encompasses various noteworthy performances, Harmon is perhaps most recognized for his portrayal of Leroy Jethro Gibbs in the highly acclaimed CBS crime investigation series, NCIS. For nearly two decades, Harmon captivated audiences as a main cast member and executive producer of the show, leaving an indelible mark on its success from 2003 to 2021. In addition to his iconic role in NCIS, Harmon showcased his versatility as an actor through his portrayal of Secret Service Special Agent Simon Donovan in the critically acclaimed television series, The West Wing, 2002. His exceptional performance in this role earned him an Emmy nomination, further solidifying his reputation as a talented and esteemed actor. During the peak of NCIS, Harmon's exceptional talent and contribution to the show were rewarded with a significant salary. He commanded an impressive sum of $525,000 per episode, making him one of the highest paid actors on television. With a typical season consisting of 24 episodes, this translated to a staggering more than $12 million per season. However, it is worth noting that Harmon's financial success extends beyond his acting fees. Beyond his acting prowess, Harmon's involvement as an executive producer and his share of production credits and broadcast royalties have been instrumental in elevating his earnings to new heights. Through these additional roles, he consistently earns more than $20 million annually, showcasing his business acumen and the value he brings to the productions he is involved in. Mark Harmon, born on September 2, 1951, in Burbank, California, hails from an impressive lineage deeply rooted in the entertainment and sports industries. His father, Tom Harmon, achieved fame as a Heisman Trophy-winning football player and later as a respected broadcaster. Meanwhile, his mother, Elise Knox, made her mark as an actress, model, designer, and artist. Mark's family further boasts the presence of his late sister, actress Kristen Nelson, and his sister Kelly Harmon, who has also found success as an actress and model. During his formative years, Mark pursued his education at Harvard Westlake School in Los Angeles, where he attended high school. Following his graduation, he enrolled at Pierce College, where he not only pursued his studies but also showcased his athletic prowess as a football player. Mark's exceptional skills on the field garnered offers from various major college football programs. However, after careful consideration, he made the pivotal decision to attend the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, and play for the Bruins, opting for UCLA over Oklahoma. At UCLA, Mark's football journey continued as he emerged as the starting quarterback for the Bruins during the 1972 and 1973 seasons. His dedication and talent on the field earned him recognition and solidified his position as a formidable player. After completing his college education, Mark Harmon found himself at a crossroads. While he initially contemplated pursuing a career in advertising or law, his true passion for acting beckoned him. The allure of the entertainment industry proved irresistible, prompting him to embark on a new chapter in his life. Mark's acting career took root with his early roles in television shows such as Ozzy's Girls, ADAM 12, Policewoman, and Emergency, in 1975. These early experiences allowed him to hone his craft and establish himself within the industry. Notably, in 1977, Mark earned an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Miniseries or a Movie for his compelling performance in the television movie, Eleanor and Franklin. The White House Years During this period, he also collaborated with esteemed producer and creator Jack Webb on projects like 905 Wild, a pilot for an unsold series, and Sam, 1978, a collection of short films that revolved around an LAPD officer and his trusty K-9 companion. In the 1980s, Harmon's star was on the rise. He gained wider recognition when he secured a regular role on the popular primetime soap opera, Flamingo Road, in 1980. Although the show was cancelled after two seasons, Harmon's talent did not go unnoticed. 
In 1983, he was cast as Dr. Robert Caldwell on the critically acclaimed medical drama, Saint Elsewhere, which further solidified his position in the industry. Harmon portrayed Dr. Caldwell for nearly three seasons before bidding farewell to the show in early 1986. The year 1986 proved to be a significant milestone in Harmon's career. In January of that year, he was honored with the coveted title of Sexiest Man Alive by the reputable People magazine. This accolade catapulted him into the spotlight and solidified his status as a heartthrob in the entertainment industry. Harmon's talent extended beyond television, as he also showcased his acting skills in films. In 1988, he starred in two movies, namely, Stealing Home, and The Presidio, further diversifying his body of work. After a brief hiatus from regular television roles, Harmon made a triumphant return in the early 1990s. From 1991 to 1993, he graced the small screen as Chicago police detective Dickie Cobb on the NBC series, Reasonable Doubts. This compelling portrayal earned him critical acclaim and showcased his versatility as an actor. In 1993, Harmon made a memorable guest appearance as a rodeo clown in an episode of the CBS Western comedy series, Hearts of the West, alongside his future, NCIS, co-star Sean Murray. In 1995, Harmon embarked on a new television venture with the ABC series, Charlie Grace, where he played the titular character for one season. The following year, he took on the role of Dr. Jack McNeil in the syndicated medical show, Chicago Hope. Which ran from 1996 to 2000, Harmon's portrayal of Dr. McNeil further demonstrated his ability to captivate audiences in diverse roles. Mark Harmon's career reached new heights in May 2002 when he joined the acclaimed series, The West Wing. He portrayed Secret Service agent Simon Donovan in a special four-part story arc, earning him his second Emmy Award nomination. This recognition came exactly 25 years after his first Emmy nomination, showcasing his enduring talent and appeal. Harmon's outstanding performance caught the attention of Donald P. Belisario, the creator of popular shows like JAG and NCIS. Impressed by Harmon's skills, Belisario cast him as the lead character, NCIS agent Leroy Jethro Gibbs. Harmon's portrayal of Agent Gibbs made its debut as a guest star in two episodes of JAG 2003. His performance was so well received that in September of the same year, Harmon began playing the iconic character on the CBS drama, NCIS. This marked the beginning of an extraordinary chapter in Harmon's career. His character, Agent Gibbs, became synonymous with the success of the show, captivating audiences with his stoic persona, sharp intuition, and unwavering dedication to his team. In addition to his acting prowess, Harmon took on the responsibilities of a producer and executive producer for NCIS 2008. This demonstrated his commitment to the show's success and his desire to contribute to its creative direction. Harmon's dedication did not go unnoticed, as he received six People's Choice Award nominations for his role on NCIS. In 2017, he won the award for lead actor in the most popular crime TV series, solidifying his status as a fan favorite. As of 2023, NCIS continues to captivate audiences, making it the third longest-running non-animated television series in the United States. Harmon's portrayal of Agent Gibbs remained a cornerstone of the show until he bid farewell at the end of season 19. His departure marked the end of an era, leaving an indelible legacy as one of the most beloved characters in television history. Other Professional Activities Throughout his career, Mark Harmon has engaged in various professional activities outside of his acting endeavors. His passion for the arts extended to the stage, where he showcased his talent in several theater productions in Los Angeles and Toronto. Notably, Harmon performed in the plays, Wrestlers, and The Wager, at the Cast Theater in Los Angeles, captivating audiences with his stage presence and exceptional acting skills. In the late 1980s, Harmon ventured north to Canada, where he joined the cast of the Canadian premiere of the play, Key Exchange. This marked yet another opportunity for him to demonstrate his versatility as an actor and further expand his artistic repertoire. Harmon's dedication to his craft extended beyond individual projects, as he often collaborated with his wife, the talented actress Pam Dauber. Together, they graced the stage in numerous productions of the acclaimed play, Love Letters, captivating audiences with their chemistry and impeccable performances. Harmon's involvement in the television industry also included directing. In 1999 and 2000, he directed two episodes of the popular medical drama, Chicago Hope, showcasing his ability to guide the creative vision of a show from behind the camera. In 2002, 
he further demonstrated his directorial skills by helming two episodes of the acclaimed series, Boston Public, cementing his reputation as a multifaceted talent. In addition to his contributions to the stage, Harmon delved into the world of production. In 2014, he founded Wings Productions, a production company dedicated to working on and producing the hit show, NCIS, New Orleans. This endeavor allowed Harmon to extend his creative influence beyond acting and into the realm of behind-the-scenes production work. In 2018, Harmon took on the role of producer for a new CBS series based on the best-selling, Prey, series of novels by renowned author John Sanford. This opportunity showcased his keen eye for captivating storytelling and his desire to bring compelling narratives to the screen. In 2023, Harmon's creative pursuits expanded to the world of literature. Alongside NCIS, technology consultant Leon Carroll Jr., he co-wrote the non-fiction book, Ghosts of Honolulu. This collaboration allowed Harmon to delve into the realm of writing, offering readers a unique perspective on the intriguing history and captivating stories of Honolulu. With all of this success, it's no surprise that we would feature his ultra-luxurious homes. Mansion in Mandeville Canyon, Los Angeles In the late 1980s, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber made a significant real estate purchase, investing a staggering $4 million in a luxurious house located in the prestigious Mandeville Canyon area of Los Angeles. This high-end neighborhood is known for its opulence and exclusivity, attracting some of the most affluent residents in the city. Harmon's L.A. home is a true embodiment of sophistication, class, and comfort, providing a glimpse into the lifestyle of a celebrity. As you approach the property, you are immediately captivated by its grandeur and aesthetic appeal. The exterior of the house showcases classic Mediterranean architectural features, combining elements of stone, stucco, and lush greenery. Tall palm trees gracefully line the driveway, creating a welcoming atmosphere that sets the tone for the rest of the property. Upon entering the house, you are greeted by a world of elegance and exquisite design. The entrance hall boasts high ceilings, delicate chandeliers, and a stunning staircase that serves as a focal point. Establishing the refined ambiance that permeates throughout, the living space is thoughtfully designed to offer both comfort and entertainment, featuring an open floor plan that seamlessly connects the living room, dining area, and kitchen. Natural light floods the living room through expansive windows, creating a bright and airy atmosphere. The space is adorned with high-end furniture and a fireplace, providing the perfect setting for hosting and inviting guests to enjoy its splendor during extravagant gatherings and celebrations. The kitchen is a true testament to beauty and functionality, boasting state-of-the-art appliances and modern amenities that cater to the needs of even the most discerning culinary enthusiasts. Now, let's step outside and explore the remarkable outdoor space of the house, which can only be described as a private resort. It's truly unbelievable. The spacious patio area features multiple seating areas, an outdoor barbecue, and a fire pit, allowing residents and guests to savor the pleasant year-round weather that Los Angeles offers. The main attraction, undoubtedly, is the pool and spa, surrounded by lush landscaping and tall trees that provide privacy and a serene ambiance for relaxation and tranquility. The house comprises several bedrooms, each exuding its own unique charm and character. The master bedroom, designed with relaxation in mind, offers a generous sleeping area complete with a fireplace, a private balcony offering serene views, and a spa-like ensuite bathroom that adds a touch of luxury to everyday living. What truly sets this residence apart is the meticulous attention to detail and the commitment to maintaining its updated and modernized state. The property even includes a detached guesthouse, offering additional living space and privacy for visiting friends and family. This feature epitomizes Harmon's role as a gracious host always welcoming visitors with open arms and ensuring their comfort and enjoyment. This house stands as a testament to the notion that dreams can come true and serves as an inspiration to many, illustrating that great achievements are attainable through self-belief and trust in the process. In 1990, after undergoing significant renovations, Harmon and Dauber sold the house to esteemed director and producer Barry Levinson for nearly $8 million. Subsequently, their primary residence for over two decades became a mansion located in Law's prestigious Brentwood neighborhood. Remarkably, this current home is now valued at over $15 million, solidifying Harmon's status as a discerning homeowner with an eye for exceptional properties. Mansion in Malibu In 1998, Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber made another noteworthy real estate investment, purchasing a remarkable hilltop house for $610,000. This exquisite residence offers breathtaking panoramic views of the ocean, islands, coastline, and mountains. Designed to embrace a lifestyle of relaxation and entertainment, 
The house features soaring ceilings, expansive windows, and wraparound decks that provide the perfect setting for creating lasting memories. Upon entering the living room, one is immediately struck by its sheer beauty. With windows spanning two sides and reaching impressive 20-foot ceilings, the room is flooded with natural light. Disappearing glass doors seamlessly blend the indoor and outdoor spaces, opening up to the deck and pool area. The wide plank wood floors add a touch of elegance, while a dual-sided fireplace serves as a captivating centerpiece, facing both the living room and dining area. The dining area boasts extra-wide sliding glass doors that reveal stunning ocean views and grant access to the deck and outdoor kitchen. On the opposite side of the windows, another disappearing wall opens onto a serene central terrace, creating a peaceful oasis. The kitchen, illuminated by six large skylights, is a culinary enthusiast's dream. Bathed in natural light, it features an island with bar stools, top-quality appliances, marble backsplashes, custom lighting fixtures, and built-in shelving. The kitchen anchors a great room that encompasses a dining area and a sitting, family area, providing a seamless flow for everyday living and entertaining. On the main floor, in addition to a bathroom and laundry room, two self-contained bedrooms offer captivating views. One overlooks the ocean, while the other provides a peaceful courtyard vista. Ascending the stairs from the living room leads to a loft-style study, family room, gym with a private balcony that offers sweeping ocean views. Towards the back of the house lies the stunning master retreat, an idyllic sanctuary complete with a kitchenette, spacious closets, and an exquisite master bath adorned with a skylight. Fireplace, large sitting area, and a freestanding tub. Beyond the main living space, an enchanting rooftop deck awaits, providing an ideal space for activities such as yoga and stargazing. With an outdoor kitchen, dining area, and pool on one side, the Ocean View patio wraps around to include a multi-level deck designed for lounging and entertaining. This deck features built-in chaise lounges and two fire pits, offering a serene environment surrounded by beautiful lawns and landscapes. Additional features of the house include an outdoor shower, surfboard storage, and a two-car garage. Today, this extraordinary property is estimated to be worth around $10 minus $12 million showcasing the value and appreciation of Harmon and Dauber's investment. With its stunning design, captivating views, and luxurious amenities, this hilltop house represents the pinnacle of coastal living, providing a haven for relaxation and enjoyment. Cars In 2021, as Hollywood icon Mark Harmon approached his 70th birthday, he was spotted in Los Angeles exploring a vintage truck. The veteran actor was seen taking a keen interest in a classic white Ford F-250 pickup truck, which carried an approximate price tag of $28,000. This timeless vehicle exuded a sense of nostalgia and charm, capturing Harmon's attention as he considered adding it to his collection. Under the hood, the Ford F-250 boasted a 4-liter split-port induction V6 engine, inherited from the renowned Windstar model. This powertrain delivered a respectable 205 horsepower, providing ample strength and performance for a variety of driving situations. With its vintage appeal and reliable capabilities, this truck represented a timeless testament to American craftsmanship and automotive history. Aside from his interest in vintage trucks, Harmon also indulged in the allure of modern-day luxury. One such example was the Dodge Charger, which commanded a price of approximately more than $70,000. The standard V6 engine offered more than sufficient power for everyday driving needs, allowing the impressive sedan to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in approximately 7 seconds. Cloth upholstery was the standard choice for most trim levels, while the higher-end Hellcat models featured luxurious leather seats. For those seeking a touch of sportiness, a faux leather, suede, Alcantara interior was available, along with real carbon fiber trim accents. The jailbreak package presented enticing options such as hammerhead gray leather upholstery and eye-catching red seat belts. When it came to safety, the Dodge Charger prioritized essential features to ensure the well-being of its occupants. Traction and stability control systems were in place to provide optimal handling and stability, while a comprehensive array of airbags offered enhanced protection in the event of a collision. A rearview camera assisted in maneuvering the vehicle, while rear parking sensors went above and beyond, adding an extra layer of convenience and safety to the driving experience. Whether cruising down the streets in a meticulously maintained vintage truck or reveling in the refined comfort of a high-performance sedan, Harmon's choice of vehicles exemplified his discerning taste and love for the open road. Beyond his successful acting career, Harmon actively supports various charitable organizations, focusing on areas such as healthcare and children's education. Philanthropy One notable organization that Harmon contributes to is Clothes Off Our Back. 
This organization hosts charity auctions that showcase attire worn by today's hottest celebrities. Through these auctions, members of the public can bid on these items, and the funds raised go towards benefiting children's charities. Harmon's involvement in this organization demonstrates his commitment to using his platform to support causes that make a difference in the lives of children. Another organization that Harmon is involved in is the Entertainment Industry Foundation, EIF. EIF plays a crucial role in raising awareness and funds for a wide range of important causes. These include childhood hunger, cancer research, creative arts, education, and cardiovascular research, among others. Harmon's support of EIF showcases his dedication to addressing pressing issues and making a positive impact on multiple fronts. Harmon's philanthropic endeavors extend to the Ronald McDonald House Charities, RMHC. RMHC focuses on improving the health and well-being of children through various programs. One significant initiative is the provision of shelter for families with seriously ill children who are undergoing treatment at nearby hospitals. The Ronald McDonald Family Room, often located next to pediatric and intensive care units, provides a space for families to enjoy a warm meal, connect with other parents, and find solace. Additionally, the Ronald McDonald Care Mobile brings essential medical, dental, and health education services directly to disadvantaged children in both rural and urban areas. Harmon's involvement with RMHC highlights his commitment to supporting the well-being of children and their families during challenging times. Stand Up to Cancer is another cause that Harmon actively supports. As a nonprofit organization, Stand Up to Cancer aims to raise funds for cancer researchers and scientists to collaborate and work towards finding a cure for cancer. This campaign, which is part of the Entertainment Industry Foundation, not only supports vital research but also provides hope to those affected by cancer. Harmon's dedication to this cause underscores his commitment to fighting against one of the world's most devastating diseases. Harmon's charitable efforts also extend to the Children's Center OKC, based in Oklahoma City. This organization provides comprehensive medical care, therapy, and education to children with special health needs in a cost effective manner. The Children's Center is a private, nonprofit hospital that caters to children with medical and physical disabilities. Through state of the art medical and respiratory care, rehabilitation and habilitative therapies, and special education, the Children's Center strives to improve the lives of these children. Harmon's involvement with this organization demonstrates his commitment to supporting the well being and development of children facing unique challenges. Lastly, Harmon contributes to Kids Wish Network, an organization dedicated to creating happy memories and improving the quality of life for children. Kids Wish Network assists children and their families through various programs designed to honor and comfort those going through difficult times. Harmon's support of this organization reflects his desire to bring joy and hope to children facing adversity. Harmon's dedication to these organizations exemplifies his compassion and serves as an inspiration to others to contribute to meaningful causes and make a difference in the world. Personal Life Mark Harmon's personal life is marked by significant relationships and acts of heroism. He has been happily married to actress Pam Dauber since March 21, 1987, and together they have two sons. Despite their fame, the couple prefers to keep a low profile and rarely make public appearances with their children. Valuing their privacy Interestingly, Harmon has intriguing connections within his extended family. He is the brother-in-law of the late Ricky Nelson, a renowned musician and actor, as well as the brother-in-law of John DeLorean, a prominent automotive executive. Furthermore, he is the uncle of actress Tracy Nelson and the talented duo Matthew and Gunnar Nelson, who form the rock duo Nelson. These familial ties add depth to Harmon's personal life and highlight his connections to the entertainment industry. In 1987, two years after Ricky Nelson's untimely death, a significant event unfolded within the family. Mark Harmon filed for custody of Kristen and Ricky's youngest child, Sam. Harmon cited his sister's inability to provide adequate parenting as the reason for seeking custody. However, he later withdrew his custody claim, suggesting a resolution or change of circumstances within the family. In 1996, Harmon's courageous actions made headlines when he saved a teenage boy involved in a car accident outside his Brentwood home. While the driver managed to escape the vehicle, the passengers remained trapped as the car caught fire. Acting swiftly, Harmon's wife, Pam Dauber, called emergency services for assistance. Meanwhile, Harmon himself took action, utilizing a sledgehammer from his garage to break the car's windows and rescue the passengers. Despite the intense heat and imminent danger, Harmon's bravery prevailed as he managed to pull the passengers to safety. Unfortunately, one of the passengers suffered severe burns. But thanks to Harmon's heroic efforts, they ultimately survived their injuries. 
This act of heroism showcased Harmon's selflessness and willingness to risk his own safety to help others in need. As we conclude our exploration into Mark Harmon's lifestyle, it's clear that his journey is as intriguing as it is inspiring. If you've enjoyed learning about his fascinating life and career, don't forget to support our channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Your support helps us continue bringing you more engaging content on the lives of iconic figures. Let me know in the comments who you'd like to see featured next. Thank you for being part of our community.